this is Mario with MIA Microflight and this is the MIA Piper light and basically designed from scratch from the bottom up uh, using the Piper Kyvis of reference and uh, but using my own methods of uh, assembly with the uh, parts that I consistently use on all my RC ultralights so this one has a dual pilot these are the pilots, the MIA 1.25 pilots that I also consistently use on the MIA RC micro lights. So I decided to do two pilots. The flight suits are slightly different in um, design. You can see that this one has a V here, upper V. This one's just straight, but very much the same architecture, the same uh, parts. I decided to keep this uh, open here because I wanted to uh, showcase uh, the uh, shoes and some of the details that you typically don't see when this section is covered so I decided to leave that open I also um, was going to leave this open but I think I'm going to create a, some kind of a cover here just to cover the or hide the battery and the ESC which are going to go right there the location of the battery and the ESC at the very front uh, allows uh, the model to um, balance at about 25% from the leading edge cord-wise of the wing. So that is uh, perfect as, uh, as far as the location of the battery. I have an instrument panel here. If we can get underneath the wing, you can see the instrument panel. It's a little bit different than the original one that I had. This one's a little bit uh, more in proportions with the scale of the model. The one I had originally there was a skinny one. It had uh, about the same amount of gauges, but it was a little bit too small, I thought, for the scale of this model. So I decided to do another one, and then from that other one I did this third one. And that's the final one that I ended up with. That's 3D printed. Um, instrument panel. Those are most of the parts that you see in green here and some in black. You can see some of the parts also in green at the front here is um, something that I did uh, as a an added uh, bracing because without this bracing here this uh, architecture here with all the tubing tends to uh, deform under uh, tension and so that's what this is for is to create this positive brace so that none of these tubes are allowed to give uh, it's a little bit uh, it's a little uh, I mean you can see this it's obviously you can see this uh, I wanted to make this a little more streamlined but the drawback of making this too streamlined is that you lose the the um, the support and I wanted to this section to be very beefed up beefed up in case of a uh, crash landing or a mishap you know this has to be able to take the impact and that's the reason for these parts being that size but as you can see it does not take away from the rest of the design um, and the complete uh, model the wing is uh, done uh, as you can see it here the servos are installed underneath I need to install the ailerons but the servos are already there they need the control horns with the links to the ailerons once the ailerons are in place so that's what the model looks like i need to connect the receiver and uh, take it for a test flight this is a 60 inch wing very the same wing that i use on all the rc ultralights that i design the same wing except you know of course different color schemes uh, the color scheme is something that i also was playing around um, on paper with uh, color pencils and I had uh, three options. I typically like to do multiple options of uh, color schemes and when I do designs and then lock on one particular one, the one that hits me the most in this this one with the white center trim uh, stood out the most. Um, it's got the hot green and, and black uh, combination but that white stripe right there really really brings it out along with the pilot helmets which are also white and the shoes of the pilot. The face of the pilot as well as the hands have been uh, painted by hand. And we can see it here with maybe a little more uh, more light from the sun. Landing gear as well. 
has these parts here which are additional details of the uh, this uh, the, the more traditional uh, landing gear that you see on Pipers and the uh, Savage uh, Bobbers. This is not a Savage Bobber per, per se, but it is uh, in that line, if you will, by nature that it is based on the Piper design. But as you can see, it's got a, a very unique uh, uh, architecture uh, that is uh, also identifiable with MIA Microflight. Uh, ultralights so this is where it stands hopefully later on today or maybe tomorrow Sunday I will take this airplane for a test flight I'm not pretty sure it'll do just fine as all my RC microlights and ultralights do on their maiden flights this is Mario with MI Microflight once again stay tuned for the maiden flight